course love Lonnie signing in and I just realized something Minecraft had an update what the heck what's going on I don't even know what half of this stuff is so I'm going in completely blind in creative finding all of the new things keep in mind I might have mentioned or I might be mentioning something that was there like months years years ago and I just didn't realize it but I went on Juxcraft and I was really confused because there was all these new blocks and you know how confusing that can be. First thing I noticed is there is no texture pack button. So what's going on? <laughs> uh, oh, it's, here. it's right here. It's right here. All right. All right. It's right there. Um, so I guess they moved it there. Just saying. Um, doesn't look like they changed anything from here. It all looks, looks good, no. When it rained, why do you ruin this for everyone? I already got all this stuff set up and you ruin it. Now I have to wait because I don't know how to use the command block. Okay, so rain is finally gone after about 10 minutes. How did these- I've been doing this, you suck at Minecraft! I'm going away now! Yeah, 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 yeah! Jeez, yeah. yeah. what's wrong with you? Um, so I'm gonna push that back. Uh, here we go, it's not gonna move. So, first of all, what you're gonna notice is this is the hopper here. And I did a lot of research for 50 minutes. 50, 51 minutes actually, sorry. And, so this is the hopper. And it's almost like a funnel type idea. So what you do, it's really Minecraft is becoming lazy. But that's okay. We don't we don't care. Um nice snow, bro. And so this is how it works. So the hopper is like a funnel and this bottom oopsies. This is back. The bottom thing really determines on where it's going to be. If I place it like this, see look the funnel is going that way. Meaning this is if I put it let's say, into a furnace, it, it's, it's funneling into the furnace. So first thing I noticed was, let me just grab a furnace, furnace, right there, okay. <laughs> That's what I hate about it. Um, so if you place a furnace, and then you place the funnel on top, it just brings you right to the fur furnace, or the hopper on top. So it just, it doesn't work. So keep in mind when you want to use a hopper, you have to A, destroy the furnace that already exists and place a block and then this, or before you're going to put it down, what you're going to do is just place a block and boom. Now anything can be destroyed around the funnel, it doesn't matter. So my favorite part about this is every single thing that the wiki has to say is telling me something different. I looked on YouTube, I looked on the wiki, I looked on the forums, nothing, okay? So, the first tutorial I watched told me to do this. This, this is wrong, nothing happens. The next tutorial, tutorial I watched told me to do this. This doesn't work. <laughs> so, the funnel can funnel into anything that really can hold a block of any sort. So, oh my gosh, that includes um, the fire, the furnace, the fireness, yeah, the furnace, the furnace and the chest, um, and then you got the chest within a cart, and you also can have the furnace within a cart. Remember, you have to to do this. You have to place a block here, and then put your rail, and then put your cart, and then put your chest. Um, I don't know why I have two of those, but whatever. <laughs> um, they also can go into dispensers because or droppers those are new i guess they drop items dispensers i think throw them but continuing on um first thing you're gonna do is just you can actually cue this stuff in if i can actually we're gonna play some basketball guys oh my gosh there we go <laughs> see as you can see it just just disappears just just disappears just like that disappears um, which is actually kind of really awesome. And then it gets dropped into here. No, I haven't done that yet. Well, 
Expect that in the next update if this video gets popular enough. Yeah. <laughs> so what we are going to do is we are, we can actually just immediately right click and here you go. You can just place whatever you want. See what I think the hopper is going to do is it, it's going to be really beneficial to the furnace and to the, the brewing stand. There we go. You can also use the brewing stand. I'm not using it. I'm not using it for this tutorial, but you know you can use it so so honestly this is gonna be my favorite part i just cue this stuff in only about half of it made it in there and then i'm just gonna place a whole bunch of those so honestly you don't have to do anything you can only have one thing now because as soon as this is done it's gonna instantly funnel into it and as you can see it's just waiting there and but the only thing is it only has like that many places which honestly if you're gonna have use a chest i think it should have this many places but whatever that stuff happens right great this is what i'm most interested about so what does it give me it gives me nether quarters guys it looks like everything you should be able to craft isn't working all right we're back i don't know why i'm over here don't go look don't look over there no 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 so to make this item what you are going to need is slabs doesn't matter what type of slab apparently but i'm just gonna go wood slab just just in case you need some glass not glass panels not glass bottles glass you need lots of that sure then and the thing that we you saw at the beginning we saw the nether stuff you're gonna need lots of those actually three of them sure what you're going to do is this here now again guys i don't know what's going on with my crafting it's not working so oh well this one works okay so the daylight sensor that's how you make it and these can be really fun now i don't i know why it's called daylight sensor i want to know if this actually holds a charge doesn't oh well so what happens is when it's daylight it produces it's almost like a red stone this thing redstone torch um, it, it helps with that, and as you can see, it just produces a charge as far as possible. And it ends here. Then you have to put a repeater, so on and so forth. So, what I really like about this is you can actually turn this into a night sensor. So whenever it's not, like, daylight, goes here, goes to the block, through the redstone torch, and then turns on this at night time. I already tested it out subconsciously, hoping that this would work, and didn't realize it was daytime, and it worked! So... That, that's how you can do that instead of building like a gigantic thing of giganticness in some tutorials that you've seen. So, or you may or may not have seen, but they're like gigantic. They're as big as this mountain right here. And that's really, really, really big. So, that's how those work. I feel like it acts like a really big... Um, really? Why do we keep doing that? A really big um, lamp. See, it holds a charge. I feel like it's gonna hold more of a charge. Let's block I don't know. but um that's honestly all i know right now in this update i want to see how this works and i'll come back to you guys when i figured that out it's like, yay so what you're going to need to create this item is not wool no 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 it would never be wool. you're gonna need first of all you're looking redstone it's clearly gonna be redstone you're gonna need three torches you're gonna need the nether stuff, the nether, nether or something, I don't know how to say it right, nether orcs, you need a good amount of those, I actually only need one of them, but you need three stone, I got four, whatever, so we're gonna go to our crafting bench that we conveniently place right here, and you're gonna place one, two, three, then you're gonna go one, and then you're gonna go whoop, 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 oh, yeah, see, this works, this toast works. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> so, what's going to happen is 
if this current, so this is the main current here, it's the back current, which is why there's two redstone things. This cannot be beaten by anything. And what I mean by that is if I have a strong current here, a strong current, and this exact same current here, this is still going to light up. If I have, geez, lagging, this, this, it's not, nothing's going to happen. And if I have this, nothing's going to happen. But, but, if the current is like this, and then you have something that is stronger than that, it's stronger current. It's going to shut it off. Um, but, if let's say we had, let's say we had this, geez. When this is on, when any of this A or B, and let's say this is C, if A and B are on, nothing happens. It's not doing anything. This is to turn it off. So this could, you could really do some really creative maze stuff. So the only stuff, or these three leather, levers are the only things that will turn this on. It's confusing, I know. And so let's just take away that. That is a very strong current. This, jeez. I don't know how to play Minecraft. So there you go. Stronger current. Turns it off. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. And then I'm gonna place the levers. One, two, three. Three, three, and then <laughs> we're gonna place our out, which is our torch. So let's put on our dominant stuff on a low current and turns it off. Let's see if we have another one nothing happens so like as you can see stuff can get really creative that has a strong current which is why that is on now why is this on now when b is completely turned on all the way <laughs> so even if two currents are connected to this nothing happens okay guys i know what to do i'm smarticles so we are gonna do this completely from scratch. And we're gonna start off just with this stuff. And by the way, this stuff, guys, is literally all over the nether. Any layer, doesn't matter, it's there. And um, I don't think in this world I've been in the nether, so I'll show you that at the end or at the beginning, wherever I feel like it. So to make these blocks, you're simply going to need a ton of them. Now, I'm just gonna make seven here. So now I have, I'm smart, <laughs> so now I have these things, and these things kind of look cool, I like them, they're awesome. Now what you're going to do with this to make a pillar, you're just going to stack them on top of each other, and you get two, which makes sense. And just, oh. And again from here, my brother is staring very intimidating at me and I'm scared now. So he slowly walks away. So th that's the pillar. I kind of like the pillar. It's kind of cool. So to make the chiseledness, you're gonna have to make these things, which are pretty cool. And these are slabs. The chisel. I don't know how to say it. Quarters. The slabs. Just just make slabs. That's all you have to do. And then you're going to be smart like me. And you're gonna forget how it said to make them. And. You have to go back and look. Wait, what was that? Something happened. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so, <laughs> um, really? It, these are really cheap. If you think about it, to make slabs, you need three of them or three of those blocks that I showed you originally, and which gives you six. And then from there, you only need two to make two of these, these blocks, these kind of cool looking blocks. We're gonna place them in my brother is now really <laughs> What the heck is that? On, um, I just checked recently if the wiki works. Um, if the wiki says that, it goes iron blocks. But yeah. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. So, where's the blunder setting out?